In the previous video, we saw some of the things that made Curator so special. There's more. Curator has an optional module called Risk Manager that is quite innovative in the sense that it brings into the whole picture configuration information. For example, you can take a look at your firewall configuration independent of whether you have a firewall that is checkpoint or another one that is uh, 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 Cisco, etc. Because we normalize all the data, uh, you, you can actually see the configuration of, of, of all, all of them. But it also brings into the picture network topology, which is not only nice to visualize your network, it's, uh, it's, it's good uh, uh, eye candy and representation of what your network is, but it's actually quite useful to allow you to do simulation of events. So you can actually see what, what happened if um, I get an attack of this particular type, how do, is, does it propagate to my network? It's actually quite useful for that. But uh, Curator also have out-of-the-box integration with Cardium. So it gets feeds specifically filter by Guardium, so you know the status of your databases and attacks and the specific things that are happening on your databases. In a similar way, it also can take feeds, filter feeds, precisely for, for Curator, from ASCAM. So we, you know if you are vulnerable to some, to some of your applications are actually vulnerable, so uh, Curator understands those vulnerabilities and can bring that intelligence into the picture. Same thing with Site Protector from our IPSs. So there is direct integration integration between uh, Site Protector and Curator. So we know in detail what is it that the IPSs are actually seeing. It also brings, this is actually something very, very important, IP reputation. Because we have uh, uh, not only crawlers in, in Germany that in investigate the network, has a fantastic database of, of, of uh, incident, but because we also host the network of almost 4,000 customers besides IBM's network. We know when some, some IP is behaving bad very quickly out there. So we can feed that IP reputation. So when you have to see an incident coming from a specific IP, you can give a, a, a higher magnitude to that offense uh, because of the fact that you know that that IP behaves bad. Uh, also, it has integration with the mainframe. So now the mainframe can be part of your uh, of your uh, in security intelligence, it has an interface with C-Secure. So it gets the data nicely filtered with uh, C-Secure as well. A flavor of the things that Curator can do, here's the main dashboard of Curator. I'll, I'll go into details of those uh, in a separate video. But let's go straight into the offenses. And let's take a look at the first offense, for example, this offense 160. So, okay, this is, first of all, it's interesting because it is the, the combination of almost 20,000 events or logs events and 300, 355 flows, which is pretty good. That's the NBAT, that's the network anomaly uh, behavior uh, detection that we have. And, you know, the, the, the main things are, well, and there's an aggressive scanning. Well, this is not going to get you out of bed because that, that happens all the time on the network. But there is an exploit actually being uh, 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 done on, on, on some devices, a specific exploit, and that device is actually vulnerable to that type of exploit, and it's coming from China, and it's affected 315 uh, IP addresses on two of our network. Well, that is something that is interesting. Why is it that uh, Curator brought that to, to our attention with that uh, such an intensity. Well, here are the top five IPs that were uh, involved in the attack, that were attacked by this single IP from China. Uh, obviously, in this particular case, because it's an external user, we don't have the MAC address, host name, and asset name. So, uh, but look at all the good information that we get. Uh, for example, if we hover over here, we see that uh, currently Team Needland is actually using that IP, but at the moment of the attack, of the incident, Mabel Santoro was the actual, the actual user. We can actually uh, right-click on the actual device and the asset information that we have allows us to, whoops, let's do it that again. The asset information is going to allow us to actually click on the asset 
and see details of it. Oh, is it DHCP, Microsoft Service 2008, Service Pack, that. Okay, let's scroll down and see, oh, this is interesting. Here are the ports and vulnerabilities. Look at the vulnerabilities on port 445. That's Configure's favorite. Uh, the, that's the Samba, the SMB over IP type of exploit. Well, that's interesting. Let's scroll down and see what else uh, can we uh, get out of this uh, event. Well, here we have the top categories in the buffer overflows, miscellaneous exposed, you know, web reconnaissance, the scanning, all that stuff in there. And we could actually dive in into every one of those if we want to. But let's look at the uh, top events. And here they are by magnitude. Actually, I can click on this icon here to the right and that's going to bring me a window for uh, those uh, specific events and I can actually see them in here or I can actually sort them by event name, for example. And here we have them uh, and notice that is a net BIOS. Again, this that that's that's that attack that buffer overflow that is characteristic of config uh, type of uh, viruses that are exploiting that uh, 445 vulnerability. It's pretty good. So let's scroll down and and see the flows. For example, here on the flows, we see that oh, if we do the same thing on the on on the top flows. We can actually sort this one by uh, let's sort this by uh, application, for example, and we see these are the applications that have been involved or attacked. Notice, you know, remote SSH. That's actually interesting. They're trying to do, uh, they're trying to take uh, control of the of the actual box. And actually, you can see any one of those uh, events into. Uh, great level of detail. You can click on the actual event and you can see the the, the, the actual details of the flow. Uh, same thing with the with any of the event. You can actually we don't lose any data. We record everything and here you actually see the actual piece of log that was traded. So you see with this type of technology you don't miss a thing. And it's a beauty how easy it is to, to have uh, to, to because the product has its own intelligence to set itself up in a very easy way.